going on the YouTube? So guys, uh, here we are. This is the 2015 Challenger SRT392. And I want to do a quick little video, because uh, since the last time I spoke to y'all, I hadn't done any mods. Uh, so that's changed a little bit here now. I wanted to run through a couple of things here for you, uh, just to give you a sense of, of a couple of things that I've done, because a couple of the choices I've made I think are pretty uh, pretty cool. Anyway, um, real quick here, uh, no real uh, super changes um, in terms of modification. Um, one thing I did do that, you know, was pretty standard on these V8s here. I'll show you here in a second. Of course, is the cold air intake. This is an air raid. A uh, nice big unit here. Uh, looks good. Um, I actually added on my previous SRT8 uh, 392, uh, which was a 2011. And, uh, you know, people go back and forth and when these things actually add anything at all to the car. I mean, it might add a couple of horses, but, you know, whatever. Um, definitely adds a little bit in terms of the uh, the sound. You can definitely hear it um, working, too. Um, if you got the window open and you're, uh, you're, you're hitting the gas, you can definitely hear the air getting sucked through here, which is, you know, kind of cool. Um, also, just a little uh, modification in terms of the um, cosmetics here with the 392. This is a really simple uh, hobby paint that I used uh, back a couple years ago. My son and I were making little Dodge Challenger uh, car models and uh, you know they come completely unpainted so uh, we made eight, nine, ten of them or whatever and uh, he was really into the the red uh, variation so uh, we did a couple of red ones and I used this paint simply by um, it was a spray can I just simply, uh, you know, shook it up, sprayed it into the cap, and then used a little uh, craft uh, brush, paintbrush, and then just went on and just did all the lettering myself by hand. Put on probably four coats of it because when you when you first put it on, it looks like crap, but then as you add on the layers to it, it winds up uh, working pretty well. And if you look at it really, really close, you'll see that it's not perfect. I mean, it's not like a decal. And right now, it's a little dirty, so not at its best this particular second but still looks uh, looks pretty good just adds a, I think a nice overall look to it I might do the hemi in white or just lead it silver like that whatever it depends however I'm feeling uh, the other thing too um, that's real obvious is the SRT windshield uh, banner here and um, they have a couple of different kinds um, this is the smaller version just to give you an idea of like you know hand here I forget what exactly the size this windshield banner uh, tint here is but um, it only covers about um, you know maybe 30 percent of it and uh, as opposed to the other kinds which are much bigger on my 392 that I had before it was much bigger it was at least half of the uh, the width of this area here I'd say it ran from here to here and it was was wider and that was fine um, but uh, I do like this is it's a little bit more understated which is cool I mean it's obvious it's there but it's not like bang you know like giant letters jumping off at you which is cool because I know some people have mixed feelings about this uh, another thing I want to mention here to you and hopefully the sunlight is still good uh, so you can actually see this here and you can check out another video that I did where I actually put these on but you can see here there are some hash stripes that are Hood Defender Ghost Stripes and they run up pretty far up onto the hood here and again I don't know how well you can see these just because the lighting isn't great right now and the car isn't perfectly clean you can probably see that this is a matte white plasti dip and um, you'll see in the video if you're interested in how I did this it's very simple again it's it's all dirty here, so I don't mind that. But um, I wanted to see what <coughs> I really wanted to see what ghost stripes would look like. This, these kind of ghost stripes, and I wasn't about to buy a, a vinyl kit, you know, drop 40 bucks just to put it on and realize that it wasn't what I was going for. So I figured, uh, you know what? Let me just experiment a little bit with Plasti Dip. This is a white car, and uh, I did want a, a white matte look. So I figured, you know, Plasti Dip's easy enough to use. I'll try it out. 
And the first go of it I had was awful. It was really thick and the lines did not come out well. And you can watch that video if you want. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But um, I went back to it and really liked it. Um, in fact, I liked it so much because originally I was going from here to here. I liked it so much that I extended all the way onto the hood. And um, I like the way it looks, um, especially in the sunshine. Uh, if it hits it just right, you can see it, and it looks really good. And I think you can probably get a, a good view of it here. Um, and again, we're a little dirty, but uh, the lines are all perfect. Um, looks really good, and um, it's very faint. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, and I liked it so much that I also went and did the Scat Pack a bumblebee stripe type of kit back here as well um, again same thing with the plastidip um, and I just this was simply a matter of taping it off and uh, and giving it a go from there so you'll see it's very very faint um, it's not noticeable again the car is a little you know dirty here whatever but um, the stripes are really nice I really like the ad uh, the, uh, the feel that it adds to the car um, very understated but the lines came out really really good so the, the thing that I don't like about this being that it's plastidip and being that it's white plastidip is that it's very porous and so you know right now it's the fall you know leaves are starting to turn color and all that and uh, as you know you know you park under a tree at a parking lot or whatever and you come out and there's leaves on your car and can stain your car and be kind of annoying just getting them out of the paint, let alone plastidip. So I don't know what to expect in terms of that this fall. You know, um, my expectation for me is that they're going to get ruined, and that I'm either going <laughs> to have to redo them, or um, I'm going to have to go to a shop and see um, if they can do them for real for me. Um, I don't want to go so far as to do paint because if they don't come out exactly the way I want them, I'm stuck with them and uh, I don't want that to happen uh, so I'd really like to see if I can find a manufacturer of clear uh, matte vinyl that can be used custom cut for this but really thin not really really thick you know most people they want like the thick 3M stuff that's gonna last forever you know I would just want something that's gonna be uh, consistent throughout because as you know sometimes with plastic dip you get streaks and if you look at these stripes um, in a certain light you can see there's a little bit of streaking here and there um, so I really want with, with an actual vinyl kit I actually want to have um, you know a lot of consistency but I want it to be really thin I don't want it to be thick I don't want it to be really obvious I just want it to be really uh, simple and smooth so hopefully you can see that right here um, just how faint this is so. I'm really liking it though. It's a really simple look, and I think it adds a lot to the car. Once you actually, once it actually catches your eye, you go, "Oh wow, that's pretty cool how he did that." So, the other thing I did, <laughs> the last thing I've done to the car, very cosmetic, is the badging, Challenger badging. Removed the Dodge lettering, and um, added this script badging. And this is an old one that I had laying around from the last two <laughs> two Challengers I've had, <coughs> and. Uh, you know, uh, this is based on the 1971 Challenger tail lights, and I just figured, you know what, man, let me keep it real. I actually saw this in a friend's car, and uh, was remind, reminded that, yeah, you know, man, that's a really, really good look. And I think that the chrome, basic chrome finish <clears throat> with the white and the chrome SRT uh, badging there, I think just sets it off pretty nice. So. <clears throat> As far as future things I'm going to be doing, I'm not really sure yet. Um, the one thing I like about this car is that I think with the with the color scheme and the options, it comes really well right out of the box, so to speak. You know, there's not a whole lot I want to do to the car. My son's been on me about doing stripes on the car, like doing the black rally stripes down, and <coughs> those are cool, but. Um, I think they're a little much, honestly. I do like the way this is just kind of mean and lean. Um, and then again, the ghost striping is really, really cool. I might, if I get rid of the uh, the um, hat hood defender stripes here, I might experiment and try it with the um, the rally stripes. That might be kind of cool. Again, doing that matte white look, uh, ghost stripe look is really cool. So. Anyway, guys, um, if you have any suggestions, any thoughts, you know, you think I may want to experiment, you know, I'm, I'm 
you know, after four challengers now, I've done lots of mods and things like that. Um, that, um, you know, so I'm really familiar with the, the way you can play with your challengers cosmetically and, of course, performance-wise as, uh, as well. I haven't done too much performance-wise to this car yet. Again, all I've done is the, is the cold air intake, just really because I've had other priorities that I've needed to focus on now and didn't want to drop the money on it. Um, I haven't done anything to the exhaust yet, which is great, I think, just because, uh, you know, seven months having this car and I haven't felt the need to do the exhaust yet just because I think it sounds great stock. I wish it was a little louder some days for sure, but, um, you know, the fact that I've gone seven months without changing out the exhaust yet or done, doing any modifications to it, I think says a lot as opposed to my other challengers I've had where I've literally had them days and I've brought them in to get the, uh, the exhaust done. So nothing just yet I'm going to do on that. Um, you know, um, but if anything, if I do anything at all, I might do a mid muffler delete just because I've seen a lot of videos and I've heard some of them in person that really sound great and I understand the drone with the mid muffler is not bad at all um, as opposed to the res delete which is interesting too because uh, I've done resonator deletes on the last two um, challengers I've had an RT and an SRT8 and I found the drone especially in the SRT8 to be really minimal and uh, cats are telling me now oh no you know if you do the in the newer challengers if you do the resonator delete because it is a different exhaust system than before that you'll really get burned out by the drone and you want to go with a mid muffler delete so if any of you had any experience with that and you want to share please let me know i'd be interested to hear well what you think about it so that's about it guys i'm going to uh i'm going to run on now i just wanted to share with you a little bit about what i've been up to share your thoughts again guys i appreciate it until next time